Hello, this is Christophe with a new video about the Apple 2GS. So we will just have a look today about the floppy drive and uh, have a look on to how to expand them. Uh, this is a classical drive that you have on the Apple 2GS and uh, for this one you use a classical 800k uh, floppy. You can see it's a, the classical one because here you have only one hole on the right which is uh, uh, to make it uh, copy protected or not. So this is a classical one that everybody know and working for the Apple 2GS connected onto the smart port of the Apple 2GS. Now, um, Apple launched a new kind of uh, floppy um, letter that was uh, running onto the Macintosh line uh, and uh, it's called the Super Drive. Super Drive, uh, here we go. We have one here and uh, you can see they are very similar. Uh, but this one, you are able to read and write the 144 megabit disk drive, a uh, disk, floppy disk, sorry, uh, that you can recognize because instead of having one hole, you have two holes. The second one is to define its uh, high density disk. And also on all of them, you have a HD logo uh, which is on the uh, corner of the floppy. So this one can run on this one. And this disk can also run on this one. This disk cannot run on this one as a 144. It will be recognized at, at uh, 800K. So you will lose a big part of the, of the space if you format this disk onto this one. How to make, how to recognize a drive? Uh, it's easy. So some of them, close to the Apple, you have the HD logo. On this one, this is not the case. So how to see it? It's uh, by looking the label. Here, you have the classical 3.5 uh, drive. Uh, so it's an 800K. And on the other one, you have the super drive level. So this one, you can run 1.44 megabit disk uh, inside. But you cannot connect directly this disk to the Apple 2GS. Uh, this one can be connected on the smart port, but this one will not be recognized by the smart port. Why? Because you need to have more CPU to read and, uh, to read and write on this disk uh, for this one, the uh, integrated was uh, machine uh, that is in the Apple 2GS is enough, but not for this one. So when Apple launched this uh, drive, they launched also a card uh, for the Apple 2 uh, running into Apple 2E and Apple 2GS. And uh, this card, it's an uh, interface card to, to, to run uh, this disk uh, on the system. And this is the card. Here we go. So it's a super drive card uh, and this is a copy of the Apple II 3.5 inch uh, disk controller card uh, because as this card is not made anymore by Apple, uh, it's a company called Ultimate Micro that made a copy, a clone of this card, which is very useful. You, so you just need to put it uh, in the slot 5 of your Apple 2GS and, uh, and then you will be able to use this disk with, uh, with this floppy with uh, 1.44 uh, megabit disk, Prodos uh, HFS, uh, and uh, then you can have better exchange with the Macintosh world. Uh, I'm really using this one now and uh, I'm not using anymore this uh, disk. Another difference is that the LED is different. Here on the classical one it's red when uh, you access the disk and on this one it's um, orange. Uh, so this is another difference uh, between the two, the two, the two disks. Let's go and put it in the system. So it's simple as always uh, with uh, Apple II and this is uh, why we love this machine. 
uh, you just need to to find the available slot uh, so on my side i'm using uh, slot number five because slot number five it's a classical one for the smart port uh, you just need to uh, put the card inside the slot then after that to find an available slot outside screw it connect the drive and then we can start so how it looks like now let's start the apple 2gs and see in gsos now we are back with the system up and running the floppy is connected to the card into the Apple 2GS and by the way we can see that it works also with the Apple Squeezers accelerator because I have it in this system so the card is uh, working with and now we will put the floppy into the drive so it was a, a disk that I took from my uh, collection so this one was the MS-DOS uh, one I don't have the FST for MS-DOS but let's see for the initialization and we can see that now we can do HFS, HFS or ProDOS 1.44 megabit. So let's go, let's put a name, disk 144 and with a K it's even better, initialized. And uh, we can see that now the system is initially initially oh my goodness very difficult for a french guy to say that initializing so in french format uh, the drive the floppy and voila now we have the disk on the desktop it's a prodos 1.44 megabit available uh, if we want to do the same in uh, HFS we can uh, we can do it you need to have the FST into into your system and it works like any other disk and if you put a 800k disk of course the system recognize it and uh, you can open it and use it so Now we are sure about something. We can use 144 megabit uh, disk, uh, floppy disk on the Apple 2GS using the uh, interface card uh, provided by, um, uh, sold by um, Reactive Micro. So I will put the website in the comment. Uh, it works with the Apple squeezers. It works with uh, Prodos and HFS uh, floppy. Here we go. So if you like it, please put a like. You can subscribe if you want to have more video uh, and feel free to add some comments. Thank you very much.